Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to show you how we can make use of Touchable version 1.3 on the iPad to control Ableton Live, just some quick setup. If you haven't already, please check out our other setup videos for the Mac and the PC, which will show you how to set up the Touchable server and how to uh, get other information that you may need in order to make sure that Touchable works properly with your system. Okay, so I've got my iPad set up here. First thing I'm going to do is open my settings and I'm going to select the Wi-Fi option on my iPad. Now, depending on how you have things set up on your system and uh, how you have followed our other setup videos, you're going to want to uh, decide what kind of Wi-Fi wi network you're going to connect to. If your iPad is on the same Wi-Fi network as the computer that you're going to be connecting to, then uh, you can simply make sure that both the iPad and the computer that you're connecting to are on the same Wi-Fi network and you should be good to go. If you're using an ad hoc network, you will see the option to connect to your ad hoc network. You'll want to select that network, enter the password for it, and connect to it and you should be good to go. So after you've made sure that your network settings are proper, then go ahead and launch Touchable. Now, in my case, Touchable just opened up and it has connected immediately to an open session of Ableton, which I have uh, here on my PC. However, if you need to make changes to that, you can select the wrench right down here on the bottom right hand corner. And the great thing about Touchable 1.3, guys, is that it should automatically recognize the slots which you have open for various servers which Touchable on the iPad can connect to on those computers. So you should see open slots right up here uh, letting you know what the IP address is of that Touchable server installation and then you can simply select them. So in my case I have both my PC and my Mac with Ableton opened up and I can switch back and forth between both if I'd like. I can also add a custom server if I would like by simply giving it a name and an IP address, clicking the plus symbol to add it. This is also where if my information is not showing up in Touchable from Ableton, I can simply click on the reload button and this will reload the Ableton Live information. After you have connected to a server slot that you would like to make use of, you should be able to go back into the main, into the main Touchable operation and here you have access to everything you need to take over controlling Ableton Live. So I have transport control right here. And you can see right there, guys, I can I can take over the volume control of tracks very, very easily. I can launch any clip that I would like to launch. That's a super cool feature to be able to make use of. I can also take over pans. I can take over my two auxiliary sends, which I have access to, where I have delays and other various effects. I can engage my crossfader right here. For those of you who might be DJing using Touchable, you also have access to all the other transport functions here on the right-hand side. You can choose how you would like to stack your interface and what you would like to be lined up where on the interface, which is a great thing to have access to. You also have your solo and your recording functions accessible right here inside of Touchable and you can make use of just about any other option that you have uh, available to you inside of your Ableton Live session. You also have the awesome XY pad controller and using this you can take over various effects inside of Ableton and control them using the great uh, gravity sensitive as you can see XY pad here in Touchable. So this really lets me get hands on with Ableton, take my hands off of the mouse and the keyboard Board, interact directly with this awesome touch surface that I have using the power of the iPad and really be able to play around with Ableton in many many ways which I would not normally be able to take over Ableton if I was just using a mouse and a keyboard. So spend some time experimenting as you can see I can simply launch my session, my different scenes, all of my clips, take control of volume, sends, effects, and many, many, many other awesome options that are available to me here in Touchable using Ableton Live. So I hope that you guys found this useful. Please have fun with this. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, keep making music. Stay in touch with me, Brian at Obedia.com, on Twitter at Twitter.com forward slash Obedia Tutor, and of course on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash Obedia Tutor. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.